fantastic day. It's a good day to be alive. <laughs> Come to think of it, every day's a good day. What's up, ladies and gents? And if you're new to the channel, it's your boy Shaka Zulu, and we back here for another video. Let's go. And today, man, for the Halloween season, literally Halloween's tomorrow. So I decided why not try some Halloween fucking raw garden strains, bro. So they came out with these exclusive strains just for Halloween, gang. Let me make sure I got my battery. We're gonna be using Stag Vapor Battery for this video. Shout out to the homie. So they came out with three strains for Halloween. The strains are Goblin Breath, then we got Scary Berry, then we got Witch's Brew. And it seems like a lot of the brands are starting to do this thing. Left Coast is the other one that I know that did it and I showed you guys that one. And you guys will probably see another video from Left Coast very soon. But today we got Scary Berry and Witch's Brew. I wanted to get the Gollum Breath, but you know, I can't be spending that much money on goddamn cartridges. You know what I'm saying? And I already got cartridges still that I haven't used. So I was like, let me just get two cartridges. So I got two Raw Garden cartridges, gang. Bam. So we got the Scary Berry and the Witch's Brew. And I'm gonna try it out for you guys just so um, you guys know what it tastes like and how it is so for the scary berry it is a sativa for the witch's brew it's an indica so knowing me you already know your boy's probably gonna lean towards the indica but it which is cool on the raw garden now that i just noticed this is new on raw garden that i've noticed is they put what it tastes like on it for the scary berry it says berry citrus and creamy and for the witch's brew it says orange floral and kush so we're gonna see how them bitches is hitting, you know what I'm saying? Let me open them up and get them out. But yeah, guys, you know, it's the day before Halloween and I, you know, I wanted to do a little review because it's been a while since I did like a review video. And this is something new, man. And when there's something new, you know your boy's gotta speak on it. You gotta talk about it. So we got something new. Um, <clears throat> trying to keep the box in good condition, but we will see about that. It's kind of hard to do. Got Angel back here thinking he can just chill. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, um, just got back from a freaking bagel shop. So I have a bagel sandwich also. And motherfuckers don't be, man. I was talking to the lady, man. It was hella funny. People order the sandwich, the bagel sandwich, but they don't put cream cheese on it, man. I've been trying to say, tell everybody, man, I'm like the only one that does that. When I get a, a freaking ham cheese sandwich or pastrami, whatever sandwich I get from a bagel shop, I get the cheese on there too, usually provolone. And I also put cream cheese on the bagel also, man. It's hitters, bro. If you don't know, now you know it's hitters. So we got this one out, the wild, or the witch's brew, and let me get the scary berry out scary berry now i wish i had a knife so i could just cut this thing perfectly off because i like to try and keep the boxes still good just in case i want to use it for something i try to keep the boxes like perfect you know what i'm saying uh, but if you guys haven't seen my last video make sure you guys check out my last video um i did a video uh smoking in walmart man and I, you know, it's such a controversial like thing I did. And like, um, I apologize to the people that think I'm doing something bad because of the kids and stuff like that. I apologize, but you know, it is content that you guys want to see. And I've got a lot of requests on that type of content. So I ended up doing it finally. And it's honestly been something I've been wanting to do. So if you guys are interested in that type of content, check it out. If not, I apologize if you think I'm doing something bad or something because I, you know, I've been getting a lot of hate on that shit, man. I, like, I'm not mad. I don't, I don't trip off the hate that much. I'm just like, whatever, Mike, whatever. There's another hater. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I feel like I, it's a lot of, a lot of hate been coming my way because of that shit, man. So I just wanted to put it out there, man, um, that, you know, I didn't mean to do it if there was kids there. 
Um, for the most part, it didn't seem like any kids were there, but let's get to the video, man. So this one is Witch's Brew, and this one is Scary Berry. Let's smell it first. They both have that like fruity, fruity, uh, fruity, like, this one has a more floral, like it does, it says orange floral kush, and this one has a more citrusy smell, you know what I'm saying? But let's try it out, man, let's see what it's hidden for, man. Cause it's been a while, man, since I tried a raw garden, bro. It's been a while, man. <clears throat> but raw garden, I gotta say, raw garden every time is hitters, man. Like, that's the one cartridge I could say without a doubt that every time I get it, it's gonna taste good, man. Cheers. Damn. I don't taste the orange as much. Definitely a nice floral taste and cushy taste though, man. They're right on that. This shit's pretty cool. This this one, I would say, would probably lean more on the, you know, flower side. Like, they try to get it as close to the flower. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I fuck with it. Has a good taste to it. <coughs> good ass taste to it, bro. Good ass taste to it. Let me get a little sip of this drink. I haven't yet to try this, man. It's called Joe's fucking Mango Lemonade. Not bad, not bad. I wonder if I was supposed to shake it up or not. I'm not sure. But it tastes pretty good. Kind of normal. But tastes fucking good. Mm. God damn. Matches well with the fucking raw garden. But you always gotta have some liquids for when you're smoking, man. Don't forget your bath, guys. Don't forget your bath. So this one, I do like it. It's definitely different than most raw gardens I've tried. Because usually when I do try raw gardens, I try to get the fruity, super fruity flavors. And this one has more of that flower, flower kind of taste, you know what I'm saying? But it's still fucking good, man. It's still good. But let's try out this fucking Witch's Brew. Or Scary Berry, I'm tripping. This is Witch's Brew. The other one's Scary Berry. <clears throat> and then I'll tell you guys which one I like the most. I wish I had the Goblin's Breath, but I don't have the Goblin's Breath. But there are three strains out right now. Um, go to your local dispensary. Um, if you guys are wondering where I got mine, I got mine from uh, Nug in San Leandro. And I actually heard that they were, I don't know, at certain dispensaries they were giving away, when you bought all three, you were getting like a box, like a, a spooky little box, raw garden box, like a special box for Halloween with these strains. But I didn't get this one at, at my dispo, obviously. But cheers, let's see what this tastes like. And the vapor production on this guy thing was high. I'm guessing this thing has a very high vapor production. Because I got, my friend got this battery back when, you know, they weren't really doing like temperature control. And you could take dabs with this cartridge. You can get like a attachment to put on there, a little globe. And you can take dabs out of this. So I'm guessing that's why it's like a little bit more clouds and a little, it's a little hotter. But I'm gonna try not to ruin it. Okay, okay, okay. I might have to go with the fucking scary berry, man. The scary berry, I'm starting to like more just because it has that berry taste. Like, it tastes pretty good. I wouldn't say, like, <laughs> like on the box it says berry citrus and creamy i wouldn't say that it's very creamy but it has the berries it has kind of that citrusy taste 
So, you know, I guess they're not perfect because it's just like the witch's brew. I don't taste much of the orange in the witch's brew, but I do taste the floral and I do taste the kush, man. But I have to say, Raw Garden, man, they're doing their thing, bro. Oil still looks pretty fucking good. Taste is good. You know what I mean? Like, you can't go wrong with a Raw Garden. Like, anyone, man, everybody can talk all they want about Raw Garden. Talk your smack, whatever. They're fake live resin, all that bullshit. But, you know, they never lied about it. You know what I'm saying? They never lied about it guys over here whining he want some love huh he just wants some love but um yeah gang this shit's fucking good so i would have to say if i would buy this again i would probably get the scary berry but the witch's brew is good for the people that love more that earthy floral taste but i feel like when they do the floral it like tastes like an actual flower like not flower weed flower but like they went to an actual flower and did, got some terps from one of the flowers or something. So it's more on that side. Um, but the very berry, or the scary berry, is fucking fire. Scary berry. I keep messing up the names, man. I can never remember names that well with the strains and all that. That's why I always mess up. But definitely worth trying one time for the one time. Let me take one more hit, guys. But yeah, guys, hell yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this fucking video. <coughs> I just wanted to take a couple couple rips real quick and make a little video for you guys. But I'm gonna show you, <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the sandwich I got, game. Y'all gonna like how this sandwich looks. <coughs> Ooh. So regular cream cheese, gang on a jalapeno cheddar bagel you got lettuce roast beef onion and uh pickles with provolone cheese also this shit is about to be smacked let me take a let me take a bite for you guys I could have went without the lettuce to make it smaller, but mm, that's just good, man. If you haven't tried a bagel sandwich with actual, actual cream cheese on it, I definitely tell you to recommend. I just feel like that's a thing that a lot of people don't do, but I don't know, some people tell me they do do it, at least online and stuff. But when I went and talked to the lady about it, she literally told me that literally um, no one orders like the sandwiches like with cream cheese on the actual bacon. So try that shit out if you haven't tried it. Try the raw garden hood and try it. This shit's new, man. And I think it's just like a limited drop. But cheers, guys. Remember to eat, breathe, smoke weed. I'm going to see you guys soon, man. Stay tuned for another video. You already know the vibes.